What's up, y'all? My name is Duena, aka Glamazon 1026, and welcome to the Glam Room. Today, we are going to be doing a foundation demo and review, and we're going to be featuring the Mented Cosmetics Skin by Mented Foundation Sticks. So, if you want to see what I think about them and see a little bit of a swatch show, well, it's only a little swatch because I only have two of them. But if you want to see that, stay tuned. So a couple of weeks ago, I received a package from Mented Cosmetics with their Skin by Mented Foundation Sticks. I've been really wanting to try these and I'm so excited that they sent them to me. I received the shades T30 and T40. And what happened was they told me to go on the internet and take their shade finder quiz to see what shade I was. I didn't really think that the shade finder quiz was that great because it still just kind of left me like with a big question mark like where I am. But they do have a foundation match. So you know I went down and I looked for Nars Caracas because that is my perfect match. And they said that that was Fenty's 385. And so I got T30 for that. And so since I'm actually 390 in Fenty, I got T40 as well. So that was perfect. I also did watch a lot of videos to see like what shades um, people were using. And you know, I watched Jay Chanelli's video again because I knew that she and I are, she's 385 in Fenty, I'm 390 in Fenty. So so we're kind of the same shade. Um, and so I was just looking to make sure that I got the right shades because I really wanted to do this video for you guys. So let's read on the website what they are saying about the foundation. They said that it's an ultra hydrating formula that is lightweight and buildable, giving you the coverage you need with the natural finish you love. So you wanna apply this to your skin in broad strokes, then buff in with your mental foundation brush. I don't have the foundation brush, so I'll be using my ABH A30 brush and on one side, and then I will be using a beauty blender on the other side to see which one gives you the best finish, which like how you should be applying this foundation according to me. <laughs> um, let's see, they said this is easy to apply and light on the skin while still providing the perfect amount of coverage. Okay, so I think it's, oh, they also say that it's vegan, hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, and cruelty free. And if you are still unsure of your shade, they do sell a sample pack um, of all 16 shades so that you can test them out by yourself. Or you can order and then they'll ac they accept returns um, if, it's not the, if it's not the correct shade. I know that I hate doing that. I hate ordering stuff and then sending it back because I'm too lazy to get back to the post office. But I think that the sample pack is probably a good way to go if you don't want to have to do that. So these come in 16 shades. They have four shades per category. So I think there's a light, medium, tan and dark or deep i can't remember i think that they are um that it's a good um effort for an indie brand i'm not expecting indie brands to come out with 40 shades of foundation they are not they don't have the same capital as benefit or alme or physicians formula or the balm or whatever so i'm willing to give them a break I actually just forgive the whole thing like you know because I'm like makeup Jesus or whatever, I can forgive their whatever. But it's not even that big of a deal. I don't think that, I think that 16 shades is a very valiant effort for an indie brand. So let's just look at the packaging. The packaging is very much like their lipstick. Just plain black box with um, that like kind of matte feel and it has the mented in gold and then the M on the top and then the shade on the bottom. The actual foundation stick is in that same type of matte black container like the lipsticks and I loved those so I love this as well and so I'm always wiping it down because I don't want to see my fingerprints on it because I think it's just so sleek looking like this anyway let's um just start swatching on I'm gonna swatch on my chin because I have you know a high collared shirt on today so I won't be able to swatch on my chest like I usually do but we're just gonna swatch right down here on my chin and then we're gonna see which one matches the best and then go in with that for the application let's do t30 on one side That's T30. And then behind it, we're doing T40. They're very close. I feel like T40 is gonna look really good. Um, but I will tell you that I used T30 before and it also looked really good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to wipe this off. 
I'm gonna apply my primer, which is the Nola Skin Essentials. I did it on the rest of my face already, but I'm gonna put it back right here because we wiped that off. And then the Milk Makeup Primer. And I'm actually gonna use T40 today because I feel like that looks really good. Now, I'm not gonna go in with any um, color correction because I want you guys to see how this looks, like how it looks on its own. They say that it's lightweight and it's buildable with a natural finish, so let's check that out. So we'll do T40, yep, T40. So on the right side of my face, I'm going to be using my ABH, where is it? Ah. I'm gonna be using my ABH A30 Kabuki brush to blend that in. And this is a little bit damp because I washed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean it looks good, but it's a little bit red. Which is, you know, that's okay. I can, I can, I can finagle this. It's, I think the, um, the shade is good, the undertone is a little bit off. Just a smidge. That's what I see from right here. Hmm. All right, so that is one side. And now we're gonna do the other side and we're going to use the Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge to blend that side in. The coverage is pretty good. Not bad. I always get scared that I'm gonna, not gonna use enough foundation with a stick foundation. Looks pretty good. <laughs> okay. So this is the side with the Beauty Blender. This is the side with the um, brush. I will say that for the rest of this, I'm going to be using the brush because the Beauty Blender is not blending it how I want to. It felt so nice and creamy with the brush and with the Beauty Blender, I feel like it picks so much of that foundation up so I feel like there's really nothing on this side. So I'm just gonna go back in with the T40 over here because they say it's buildable, like you can't even, like, it, I feel like it didn't cover anything over here, but that is also because I use the Beauty Blender. So let's just try it again. All right, so that's that. And then we're gonna do over here as well. So right now it was that was like a medium coverage. So I want to see if I could get it a little bit fuller. I love a medium to full coverage. Because I do got some blemishes. I'm gonna finish up my face and I will come back to you at the end so that we can talk about what is, uh, what, what and how I like it and all of that stuff, okay? All right, see you later. Hey guys, so I finished putting on the rest of my makeup and I feel like this came out looking really, really good. Like it was a little bit red, it is a little bit red and you can see that, but I feel like it balanced out once I put on my concealer and my contour and my bronzer and everything. So it doesn't necessarily matter that it's so red. Um, I feel like, 
I did wear the T30 out one time and I really liked how that one looked and it's a little bit yellower than the T40 and I think that since I'm in the middle of a neutral and a golden slash a cool like I'm a weird undertone anyway so I feel like I could get away with wearing both of these shades and I think that in the summertime I probably will wear them because you really don't feel them on your skin they're not really matte at all and you know I love a natural radiant finish for $30 you get a decent amount of foundation remember to use a brush to put it on and don't use a beauty blender because that was a mess I think it would be a good purchase for you to get if you're in the market for a stick foundation so if you like anything that you saw today please be sure to go onto the mented cosmetics website and look at their skin by mented foundations also use the shade finder as well as the foundation match tool so that you can get matched perfectly all right that's all i have for you guys today be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you click the notification bell so that you are part of the glam fam and know exactly when i upload and don't forget to follow me on instagram and twitter at glamazon 1026 and i'll see you guys in my next video bye